My name is Nicholas Collin and delighted to be conducting on Friday the 20th of April with the Halle at Sheffield City Hall. Rather beautiful German programme with Wagner's Meistersinger Overture, Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto and Brahms's First Symphony. Well, I think the programme started with a conversation about doing Brahms's first symphony. Actually, we'd looked at various other pieces before, and it goes off for years, these conversations. But um, I was really excited to do the Brahms because the more you delve into it and the more you think about it, um, the more you can find in this extraordinary music. And it, it is utterly mind-blowing what, what Brahms finally wrote after 40 years or whatever it was of not writing a, a symphony. Of course, what's fascinating about the first symphony is the weight of influence that Beethoven had upon Brahms. I mean, I see the first symphony very much as an, an acknowledgement of, of Beethoven in, for example, the similarity between uh, the, the Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the Ode to Joy, and the end of Brahms's first symphony theme in, in the finale, but also some kind of rejection of that, that Brahms is carving his own path with it um, and in the end I see it, it, he manages to, to move away from that and move forward from that and take, take the symphony in a new direction and that's a, a very bold move. Well the prelude to Meistersingers is, is one of the most fantastic overtures I know. In, in fact when I was in a youth orchestra I played in Stoney Youth Orchestra in our very first rehearsal I was 10 years old playing on the violin, I remember so clearly uh, the sound of the horns and brass coming in on that C major chord, an amazing fanfare at the beginning, uh, that I had to turn around. I, was just, I spent the whole of that first rehearsal looking around like that. And I realised at that point, I think, that I just wanted to be facing that way, which is probably why I decided to become a conductor. It was, it was far more exciting watching them than looking out at the audience, just seeing these people do that. And, uh, and so it was quite a transformative piece for me. Well, Mendelssohn's Valley Concerto is loved by everyone, isn't it? Uh, I adore the composer. I suppose there's something about his youthful spirit, and of course he was young when he wrote it, and young when he wrote most of his music, that just is so utterly fresh and uplifting and um, unweighed down by, by the, the sort of pressures of life that you see around us nowadays. Uh, it's the same with other music that he wrote early on. It, his octet is, is probably my favourite, single favourite piece of music. And it's, it's so nice to be doing the violin concerto with Augustin Hadelich, who is, I think, one of the, the great young violin players around. And he, I'm sure, will bring a freshness to it that it needs, this old classic. 